In this video I'm going to show you how you can turn your DVDs into a file so that you can watch them in the Windows Media Player or on portable devices. Now the piece of software I suggest you use is called MacX DVD Ripper Pro. This is available for both the Mac and for the Windows systems. Okay, Now right now they are advertising for $34.95 but about every month or so they give it away for free and they give a activation code with it so if you want it and you can wait for it just go and do a search for Mac X DVD Pro free and if you did that right now you'd see two different promotions in there one that took place in November of 2010 and one that took place in December of 2010 where they were giving it away for free for a couple of days. Otherwise, uh, it's worth buying, really. It does a really good job and it's really fast. This one will do it in about 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to bring up the MacX DVD software now. Okay, so here's what the software looks like when you first come in. So you pop a DVD into your drive and then you click Disk and then you select the disk here. It loads it up and it picks the main title for you so you don't really have to think about it. It plays a little bit of it in here so you can see that you have one in there. Okay so at this point you can do some settings. Now for instance you could enable subtitles if you want subtitles on your disk. You can put here the destination where you want it to burn. Uh, this is the audios that are available on the DVD so you, this one you could play it in English or French to burn it. And then down here we have our different options. So we could copy it to another DVD, burn it in AVI which is universal, burn it in MP4 which is also pretty much universal depending on audio codices, MPEG, WMV, FLV flash, MOVs, and then you have music here, and then you have different presets, iPod, iPad, iPhone, to Apple TV, to PSP, to 3GP, and to Zune and Zen. Okay, I'm going to pick Avi. Then in here, if you want, you can tweak these settings. For instance, I like to put the volume up because it doesn't come across very well if you leave it alone. The format that you want to burn your audio track. Okay, MP3 is universal, so I leave it at that. The video quality here in kilobits per second. Frame rate. Now these are optimized for AVI the way they are, but you can lower the frame rate. It doesn't really lower the size of the video that comes out very much. Use high quality engine. That's usually not necessary. I don't use it. Over here, the format either DVIX or XVID. DVIX is more universal. Okay, then over here, you have custom size and aspect ratio, original size and keep aspect ratio, or custom size with custom aspect ratio. Okay, I just leave that as it is. Video resolution, I don't ever touch this. I like to let it burn on that size, and that works well. And then, depending on the number of cores your computer has, you can assign it a number of cores here. I'm just going to assign it one core. Uh, Deinterlacing, if you want to take it apart. Force audio video sync and safe mode. I don't use any of those. Click start. Okay, it goes and seeks through the DVD a little bit. And then it'll start burning it in just a few seconds. You'll see current time here change in short order okay there it goes okay now you see that in about two seconds it's burned about 20 seconds worth of audio and down here it'll tell us the remaining time when it figures it out and that's how long it's going to take to burn the whole DVD Okay, I've only used one core, but this is going to uh, adjust down as it figures it out a little further. Okay, and you can see that the time that it's going to take 
is getting lower and lower and lower as it figures out how many frames it's burning per second. Okay, so it usually ends up around 30 to 35 minutes that it takes. When you're done, you'll have a video file that will play on pretty much any video player if you use the AVI format. Okay, here's the video here. It's still in progress, but I can open this with VLC Media Player and it will play part of it. It'll play it as much as it can right away. Let's open that up. Okay, as you can see, this is the AVI file playing. And the, as you see, it's working quite well. Let's go a little forward here. A little further. Okay, so that's it. That's how you can turn your DVDs into files to play on other devices.